Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to something really special, really fun. We've got a 50% aircraft here we're going to talk about and see maidened today, which is going to be exceptional. We're at the Red Deer Prop Busters Field, which is in between Red Deer and Sylvan Lake in Alberta, Canada. And uh, the sun's shining, it's amazing weather for October, and we are very lucky to see this thing. So we're going to talk with the owner, Nick shortly, so hang tight and we will get into this plane. All right, guys, we're here with the owner, Nick, of this aircraft. Nick, tell hey us about this amazing plane. Well, I bought it from a guy in, uh, from g &L Hobbies in Texas. And uh, it was already built kind of the way it is. And I put new servos and stuff in it. I got Savox 1270s in it all the way around. Awesome. And uh, a guy named, gentleman named Dick sold me a motor. It's a 280cc black flame engine that I took apart and modified it and got a reed valve in it and everything like that. And uh, yeah, it's got five inch air tires on it. <laughs> uh, 3912 prop. Um, yeah, and I've got a GoPro in it to see see what's gonna happen here. And Beautiful, and you're using, it looks like a uh, Jetty radio, radio system? Yeah, it's a DS24. Uh, duplex perfect and uh, yeah so we had a power box 400 in it and unfortunately we started it up yesterday and it decided to flame out on us so it started on fire so um, my buddy Devin he's uh, he flies with me here and him and I uh, programmed it up last night a, a 210 jetty box so we got it in there so everything seems to work so beautiful and how much runtime is on this engine um, I, I think it's only broke in. I broke it in on the bench. Okay. And I went 30 to 1. And then I've ramped it up to 40 to 1 now. And I've just the carb. So it should be all right to run. Perfect. Awesome, man. Well, thanks for the uh, the opportunity to film this thing. We look forward to it. And we had to balance it, too. Remember, we did that last time. We went to balance it, you and I. And yeah. I put 4.2 <laughs> pounds of weight in it. <laughs> so we... So it's in the... What we ended up doing was we put it on the, we tried to put it on the Zykoi balancer and because the tires were so big, it wouldn't stay on the balancer. So we ended up just putting um, like a, a string around the, the spar of the wing yep. and basically holding it up with a couple guys in a tube and the nose just went straight up. So we had some four by fours sitting around, right? Yeah, we put four by fours <laughs> on the front to see if we could level the tail from dropping. Yeah. And then I went home and I have a machine shop there, so I just machined up a nice weight and bolted it to the <laughs> Crazy. front of the cowl in there, into the firewall. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah, it's a piece of one inch plate. Awesome. So, <laughs> Good. Scale and there we go. Cool, man. Well, looking forward to this. Oh, thank you. Who brought the Harley to the field?
never died on it. Well, you did a pretty good job putting her down as soft as you could. Because, I mean, all it did is you just bent the landing gear, which I have another set of landing gear. Oh, wow. I didn't even hurt it. Just busted this off. But that'll match the other side now. That would be the only way in there. Oh, well, that's a crappy ending. Well, the engine died on it. Right? Yeah. And then as soon as the engine died, it was like a rock, right? Yeah, it was, there was not a lot of float left, right? All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, things don't always go as planned. Uh, thank you to Nick for letting us put the video on the internet. I know sometimes when that kind of stuff happens, uh, it's kind of hard to swallow your pride and to uh, to share the fact that uh, your airplane crashed. But uh, he did the best he could, and actually it wasn't so bad. So I like to analyze every time you know you have a rough landing or anything like that, and to think about what happened there. Um, the uh, the engine died basically at takeoff, obviously, as we saw in the video, and there really wasn't a whole lot he could do. He didn't have enough airspeed to make it back to the runway, and I think if he would have landed in the crop field, like a normal landing, it uh, would have done more damage and possibly flipped the plane over. So with him just kind of doing, we'll call it the pancake landing, slowing it down and just popping it down, uh, basically ripped the gear out, uh, broke the prop, and that is essentially all the damage. So um, decent outcome. Uh, it's gonna, that plane's definitely gonna fly again. And uh, obviously he's gonna make sure that the engine is as flawless as possible, but uh, like with anything, it uh, possibly can happen. So thanks guys for watching and we will see you in the next video.